We're going to show you how to bathe and blow dry your kitty today. This is Tippy, the number one silver in the United States for this year. And the kitten that we're about to wash is her little baby from uh, her most recent litter. This little girl is about to get a wash and blow dry. First of all, we're going to wet them thoroughly. And if you start out easy, like at their tail and so forth, they don't go ballistic. Then they don't like it that much, but they're not going to go ballistic on you. And we use a mixture of 50-50 of Blue Dawn, has to be Blue Dawn for white hair, and water. And we'll put that all over them and, and scrub them from top to bottom, all over. And uh, we'll let that sit for a little bit on them and uh, we'll start to uh, rinse that off. When you're rinsing, you have to rinse thoroughly. You have to make sure every bit of soap is gone. You work up around those ears a little bit with that Blue Dawn. It takes all the oil out of the hair. It's gonna make that hair stand up better. And um, uh, that's the first course, and it's uh, um, gonna cut all the, all the dirt and the grease and everything out of their hair. And then we'll finish up with uh, Life's Abundant Soap. Make sure you rinse, 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 rinse. I know you guys don't have one of these, but it's something that we use with the volume of cat washing that we do. It's a dryer. See the holes in the bottom of that floor? That's where the air comes up through. But uh, they don't mind it at all. They uh, handle we it go, pretty did, well. Did we go in and there uh, they stay in there for about did 30 minutes. Uh, it's the ambient air, so there's no warm air involved, so you don't have to worry about overheating the kitty. And uh, it just helps uh, us. We'd be out there washing another cat right now. I turned the sound down on the video so that you could hear me better. I've actually got the dryer on, and it's pointed away from her. And I kind of settled her down by talking to her uh, before. I start bringing the dryer up and putting the actual wind on her and they kind of take it easy. If you just turn the dryer on, on them, you're going to have uh, a very active kitty on your hands. So if you just try this approach of turning it on, let it run for a little while uh, while talking to them and calming them down, then just quietly pick it up and start at their tail and, and come over and uh, you can see that uh, uh, while it might not be her favorite thing to do, she is just kind of sitting there letting me blow dry her without uh, going into hyperdrive. And uh, they pretty much stay this way all throughout the drying process. And uh, it uh, works pretty good. I wish I'd have found that out about six years, or six or seven or eight years ago, because I just started this about, about, uh, four months ago. Then a little trick is to take your comb after they've uh, dried a little bit and go over the wet areas where the uh, hair is matted together with, uh, with from the water and it just kind of spreads the hair out and it will dry a lot faster and better when you do that. Uh, and I'm always working from the back to the front. You want to blow that hair forward. It'll help it stand up and um, uh, just ends up with a, uh, with a better job. The two most difficult areas to dry are down around their legs. That's why I keep combing it out a little bit. And then back there behind their neck and their front leg, uh, those areas seem to take a little bit longer to dry. So if you keep combing them two or three times and then apply the dryer uh, some more to it uh, you'll get them dried a lot faster than if you did not comb them. So combing a, is a big deal. It uh, will shorten the time that you're going to have to put this dryer on the kitten and uh, the shorter the better as far as they're concerned. You want that hair to stand up. It needs to be blown from backwards to forwards and uh, you need to dry them to the skin and uh, 
doesn't take too long. They won't hate you for it. And uh, it'll just look much better when you're finished. You'll notice here in a second that they do really like uh, that blow dryer coming at them straight on, so don't hold them against their will doing that. Uh, you'll end up getting around there uh, pretty easy, and sooner or later they'll get a little bit more used to it, and they'll let you blow them, dry them from the front. But of course you can't ever blow dry them uh, in the face. Uh, you have to make sure that blow dryer is always at the back of their ears. You don't want that blowing in their ears. And uh, so their face will be kind of wet, but it'll dry pretty nice. Just comb it. Okay, she's done now. She'll have to dry around. Yeah, you can't blow dry their faces, so <laughs> she'll look a little bit better in the face after uh, after she's air dried. But uh, doesn't take very long. Even if you're doing it. Uh, you know, we have the big pet dryer, but even without the pet dryer, it uh, doesn't take long to do them. But there she is, hi girl. Hey, hey, hey baby. <laughs> Come here. See, not too traumatized from that. She just had a bath and had a blow dry. Hey. Yes. See those big round eyes she's got? She's gonna grow into those and she's gonna be absolutely adorable. Hey, she, <laughs> she, sees she thinks so, because she sees herself in the mirror. Come here. Yeah, good girl. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but she's purring like mad. I can hear her from here. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we went to a show on the 17th and Bobby Lopes met us there. She's got Roxy and Satira with her and that's Dusty uh, in the middle there with Barbara, I think. And this is a couple of the judges that uh, looked at Dusty that day and uh, she got a total of about 116 points, which is a pretty good show day for her, and uh, it's her first outing, and uh, she liked it, and so we'll probably show her some more.